catch me Woo! you got me you want more poetry well stay tuned soap box Soapbox Heroes is where it's at if you want to get that poetry. That was dope. Did you catch that? Hey, y'all. It's been a minute. I'm back. <laughs> um, Took some time off. Had to get some new poetry. Went through a couple things. And um, yeah, I came back to share a couple things with you guys tonight. So I'm hoping that you... um will be willing to listen so this first poem I struggled with um a title for it I didn't know if I should call it first love thirst for love or Gatorade love <laughs> so let's see I've had many loves four to be exact I love them all quite differently though my first love, he loved me. <laughs> All of me, even the parts I didn't want him to see, the parts that I hated for him to see. He saw past my flaws and all. He was my first love and he gave me so much love. Our love making was crazy. As you can imagine, he was my first. <laughs> but for some reason, I was never enough. See, he had me plus three constantly. I longed to be his one and only. I would never be his one and only. My second love, see, he, damn, he drained me. He drained me so much that with all the lies he gave me for our tomorrows, between his heart and the lies he told, I truly believed his heart was the only honest one in his relationship. His, I say. He made me feel like there was no tomorrow. My head stayed on cloud nine. My PYT, <laughs> that handled me so, always in erection with no hesitation. That is until I realized the secret, his secret, the one I considered to be lethal. <laughs> the one that told me everything I needed to know. Now, that secret, he thought no one could see. He thought <laughs> his walk told the story that his lies could not hide his song his song told a story that even his tone could not hide the lyrics to the song that his secrets told was something that even he couldn't have told keep your eyes open because even when you think you're in love you never know so yeah that was um that was a poem from the past i guess a blast from the past so I'll go ahead and um, read a couple more. Now this next poem, it's, hmm. It was a poem that was written for me. Now, during a time in my single life, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do in life. And I came across this gentleman who seen a part of me that I didn't even see in myself. He wasn't the one, nor was he a one that I chose to date, but he was someone that kind of seen me for me, I guess. And so I kind of looked at him as a person that helped me to see myself, if you understand what I'm saying. He titled the poem, The Journey, and he wrote it to me. Hmm. As this journey comes to an end and the wheels lift from the runway and the sight becomes blind to what was, I wish this journey would never stop. I land in an area of mystery, not knowing what I'm up against, preparing my mind for anything. And they kept saying, quiche. For days after listening to the crowd speak about this quiche, I began to think of royalty, royalty coming. No sight or sound from this person for days, but I imagine a person with power and brains and beauty because the crowd could not move without this quiche. <laughs> This missing quiche allowed me to imagine what different the world would be without quiche. I mean, everyone had their assignments and the sun still shined and we always did a hard stop at six. So what difference would this quiche make? It was as if the world would have stopped and the assignments were incomplete. No one knew how to function because the atmosphere was missing its true link. So I couldn't wait to see 
this quiche for myself. One morning, I'm in the environment. I walked around the corner. My eyes laid deep on a person, a rose, a beauty like no other. My eyes laid stuck in a direction. My eyes locked onto a masterpiece. My eyes became focused on quiche. Sitting in an atmosphere, getting ready to complete her assignments, I extended my hand and said, you must be quiche. (laughs) What he really meant to say was, You must be the queen of the castle. You must be the beauty after a storm. You must be the anchor that holds this world still. You must be the pump that causes my blood to flow. You must be the air that I breathe. You must be the path in which I should take. You must be the blessing that I've been praying for. You must be the real cream in my coffee. And I know, and you know how I like my coffee. (laughs) You must be the flow of every river. You must be the drip of every water drop you must be the sight of a new beginning you must be the laughter of my soul quiche you must be the love of my life itself you must be the answer to my prayer through time we shared laughs through time we pray through time we share tears and through time we've gotten to know each other You've become the reason for my walk and the reason I love peach cobbler you've become the reason I love Houston H-Town is what they call it. So as this journey has come to an end and the wheels lift from the runway and the sight becomes blind to what was, I pray that this, us, we will be able to start this journey again. So that was a poem that was written to me by someone that kind of seen me for me in a moment where I didn't even see myself. So I kind of like, you know, took that poem and, and, you know, looked at it for a moment and I knew within my heart that I'm a poet as well. So I should have been able to come up with something quick, right? But I couldn't. It took me about maybe a week and a half before I can actually write something back because I kind of felt stuck that someone see me for me and I couldn't even see myself for me. So it's so crazy that God would allow for people to come into your life, not, you know, for a long lifetime, but just a temporary moment just to show you who you are, because sometimes we get lost in ourselves and we forget we get lost in a struggle. We get lost in obstacles. We get lost in who we are during different circumstances and so then someone may come into your life just to show you who you are and the masterpiece that God actually created you to be so I'm thankful so I actually finally wrote back maybe a week and a half later I'm in humbled and in awe of you the words you spoke were so true and genuine I'm the one who normally pours into others so to have someone pour into me feels foreign forgive me for the time I took to respond to your heart notes I was just taking my time to gather my thoughts. I have never had someone speak from their heart so freely. Normally they stand guarded. I'm really sensitive about my ish. So I've never exposed my poetry to anyone so freely without reading, rereading, contemplating, and repeating. I've never met a man from, (laughs) I'll leave that as silent. I've never met a man to not just pray for me with me, but on my behalf. I've never met a man or met a man or a person who made me feel like I can laugh during my dark times. See the journey that God has had me on. I'm not sure what the future holds. My story has been rough and the last few months have been tough. You are a pleasant and beautiful surprise before you came this place was bland you came and you seasoned the walls with joy and smiles and caused people to open up freely I'm not sure what it will become when you're gone my days were on a constant routine but laughing was not on my daily schedule the peace that followed you I hope you leave some behind my honesty is a foreign language your honesty is a foreign language so we speak the same language only known by select few i pray that you always stay true and genuine when the tides get tough never give in the most attractive part of a man to me is when they are able to be loyal real true and genuine in a world that's full of sin and again i say don't give in So that was my response to the poem that was written to me. And, you know, you know, you just get to a point to where you kind of guard your heart. You you let yourself get to a point to where you're like, you know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm in a single life. I'm good. I'm good because you you guard all of your feelings because you don't want to be hurt. And you're not sure of what the next person may bring, what baggage they may come with. 
But I'm getting to a point to where I'm happy with being single because I'm getting to know different parts of me that I've never known before. And so to have someone pour into me encouragement and to let me know not only beauty, because, you know, anybody could tell you you're beautiful, but to let me know parts of me that was so underneath the surface that I forgot about, I knew that it was from a part of, um, I would say just, it was just genuine. It wasn't about let me go ahead and get in them draws. It was more so let me let you know who you are because you forgot for a moment. So if you've understood that or if you've been through that for a moment, go ahead and snap your fingers because you feel me. <laughs> um, so I'll just share one more with you guys and I'm hoping that you will enjoy it. Let's see. Hey, y'all. So I have one more for you, like I said, and this kind of goes along with the ones that I've already read to you. Just trying to keep in the same kind of routine, kind of the same vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Hey, it's a vibe. So trying to stick with the same vibe. Um, This one goes along with the fact that sometimes we don't see ourselves for who we are, but someone else does come along and they see us for who we are and um, they acknowledge it and they remind us. And it's kind of like um, a pat on the back and an encouragement booster to let you know, don't forget, you know, you're you're strong, you're capable, you know, you're worthy. And um, sometimes you need that. So before I even read this poem, let me just take a moment to let you know that you're worthy. Um, I encourage you to live your life to the best of your ability unapologetically and don't allow for anyone to let you know how to live your life. Live it to your fullest. Because you don't want to ever look back and think, I wish I would have. I wish I could have. I wish I wouldn't have listened to him, her, and whoever else. Live your life. And you know what? I wrote a poem, and I, I read it on Soapbox Heroes recently. When we're on, um, I can't even remember the radio station. Um, but it was more so like I fell in love with yesterday, and yesterday broke my heart. I tried to make it work with yesterday, but today you are my fresh start. Because remember that every day is a new start. So regardless of what happened yesterday, remember that today is a new day. It's another chance. It's another day to start. So when you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, thank God for giving him, you, him for God giving you another day and for you having another opportunity to make the best of it. Don't live out yesterday's problems in your new day. Make it fresh. Make it right. So I'll go ahead and read this last poem. And I hope that you like it. <clears throat> you see me. You see me in a way that I've never seen myself. In a way that I'm almost afraid to see myself. With your eyes, you've captured a snapshot of me. Your lens is so clear that you've seen my flaws. But your heart is so genuine that you rename my flaws beauty. Pardon my confusion, but I have never met a man who could see me despite all of my insecurities. <laughs> Over the past two years, I've lived my life in a bubble, afraid to let anyone in and afraid to let my heart out. A detox of sort. Secretly inhaling my defeats and exhaling my victories. You see, my past battle wounds and you, you see them and you acknowledge my scars as beauty marks. How do I know? It's not because of the questions that you ask. Instead, it's the questions that you don't ask. You stood from a distance and you marveled at a woman who has looked tragedy in the face. A woman who didn't know if she was going to make it another day. <laughs> a woman who struggles to be seen in a way. A woman who feels she's always misunderstood. If you feel me, snap your fingers. <laughs> a woman who is seen by you. But how? <laughs> when you have not a clue of what I've been through. But yet to me, this is the most intriguing part. Because for the first time ever, you've allowed me to see me past my own history. I know that my testimony will somehow help others, but you have helped me to see me. See, more than I am and more than my own testimony, I'm still a woman whom you see as beauty. Thank you for seeing me. 
Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed all the poetry tonight. Um, there will be more to come. As you all know, we go through different ups and downs. So, you know, stay encouraged. Don't give up. And when you wake up in the morning, like I said, and you make it to another day, it's another fresh start. So tune in to Soapbox Heroes. Um, don't forget Tyrone Irvin is doing um, letters to my ex. So if you want to reach out to your ex anonymously and tell him what's really on your mind, and you don't want to be judged and you don't want the argument with you and the ex, go ahead and write in a letter. They don't got to know, but at least you're writing it out. Believe me, my notebook has been my therapist for many years and my notebook never judges me. So if you have a letter that you want to write to whoever, send it in. It'll go in the book. Please believe me, it will help. <laughs> if it doesn't help you, it'll help somebody else. But tune in, Soapbox Heroes. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great night.